So if you fish a lot in West Virginia, like we do, this is not our first time coming to West Virginia to film. Matter of fact, we're here in the fall. Um, right now it's late winter, early spring, and then we're gonna come back again in, in late spring. You know, there's a tremendous amount of resources available for you guys online, okay? This is Opekin Creek. We've never been here before. Matter of fact, we've never, were, never filmed anywhere near the Panhandle before. Well, we did learn by going online and looking at their atlas. Baby. Sorry, interrupted, that's good. Interrupted. We'll, we'll be back, folks. Woo! Ooh, we got a jumper. Oh, dang. So you guys see us catch a lot of big trout everywhere we go, even in West Virginia. This is what normal is, okay? We, we catch more fish this size than anybody, just like everybody else. This is a normal West Virginia stock trout. It's not small, it's not big. It's just a good sized trout, okay? That's normal. Okay, there are big ones out here again. Now we're gonna get back to well, we were interrupted by Jared by <laughs> catching a fish. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get back to this. So we went online. This is in the Panhandle. First time of us ever filming. We're near Martinsburg right now, real close to Hagerstown. A lot of people from Maryland will come into West Virginia to fish this just because the licenses are so affordable here for, uh, you know, whether it's an annual or a week or whatever you want to do. But we learn, go online and you can see exactly where they stop. Okay, we know this bridge right here is a stocking point. We found that out online. Now, people told us, go fish. You're gonna catch fish because they stock it every single week. May, no, March, April, May, okay? They're gonna stock this every single week, which is why there's fish here now. Now we're gonna come and show you guys how you can be successful catching trout over and over and over again here in the beautiful mountain state, just like we are. Got him, baby. Where's the net? I'm finally home in West Virginia catching fish. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's not bad. Rainbow. Woo! That's a rainbow. You ready, Mike? In the net. Yeah. You know, it's good to be back here in West Virginia still catching rainbow trout. Look at this nice rainbow. Dude, far side way over there. Cracked them. Oh yeah. Get the scooper. Got the scooper. Either he's a tank or he's a baby savage. One of the two. He's a baby savage, I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a rainbow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mike, you're two for two on the net job. Good job. Oh, I, caught, I caught that one in air, yeah. baby in air. Did what I do best, got a nice rainbow. He's down here fishing a fire run. I saw him pop a fish, so I snaked him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you what we're doing here today. Uh, bobber rig again, ultra light rods, and uh, it's a bobber rig, just to put it simply. Any kind of float, clip on, slide on, slip float, does not matter. I've got a lot of weights on my line. Purpose of that, get that egg to sink quick. But what's important is after your last weight, you have a nice thin, relatively short four pound leader. The longer you use, generally the better, but if you have fast current, then you wanna to try to keep it about 18 inches. That way it puts your egg down in the bottom and then you have nice slack for the egg to float around. Earlier you saw I was using Natural Deluxe. I made the switch to Yellow Jackets. And let me show you what I'm doing. One single Yellow Jacket egg is all you need. This is a size 12 hook. Hook it through there. Let me put this on my hand for you. That's it. And honestly, we're just firing it out there. If you take a look, Chris, I wanna show you how this river's laid out real quick. So we're standing on like this sandbar, bunch of little rocks. And as you go across the river, it just gradually gets deeper. So this first half of the river, there is no fish. You can see the bottom. But that far half, it drops off. And we set up on the opposite side. And the importance of that is, is, so we're not close to the fish, we're not spooking them walking around. Obviously, I'm yelling and screaming. So we just whip it to that far side and we're floating all the way down. And there's fish just scattered throughout here. Who, 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 who? Oh, peckin' bangage. <sighs> oh, that's a nice oh, one. Oh, that's actually a nice trout. Look at that. Welcome to West Virginia. 
Old Packing Creek just got here. Nice trout. West Virginia just getting started today. Oh my gosh. We get into them like this all day. I'll be happy. Does it feel like a better one? Oh, it feels all right. Feels average. I call it old Peckin' Pickin'. Oh yeah, it's a little rainbow. Yep, that's no problem. Oh, it's a cool looking fish though. A little rainbow? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come here, buddy. We're gonna send you home. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Netman. Got him. I <laughs> didn't <you> get that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, today I'm out here uh, fishing with Jared, my brother Mike, and uh, Jared's using some naturals, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna change it up. Went to some chartreuse garlic, salmon egg, and they are just going crazy on these, so I'll show you how to put them on right now. Real easy to do. Got a size 10 hook. One, two, just like that. Floating them under my bobber. Couple split shot. Now we're gonna try to hack. Little axe. Let's see if you can Babe Ruth your shot, Pat. I don't know. It's been your birthday two days in a row. You might get it to go down. You think? Got it! Thanks Instant it, action. Oh, can, doesn't get any better than that. Can you show your brother how to do that? I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Mama gonna be proud. Mama gonna be proud today. <laughs> Look at that thing run. Pat, you just leveled up. <laughs> I leveled up. Oh, well, I hear it next. Mike, come over here. Let me show you how to do this. <laughs> and that's, a, is that a brook? No. No. Nice, nice rainbow. fat rainbow though. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at this fish. <laughs> nice. Hello. Chunk you very much. Another West Virginia rainbow. Looks like it. That's a brook. Or a rainbow? I can't tell. That's a rainbow. A little rainbow. A little rainbow. All right, just found a really cool spot on a pecking creek. Uh, found a bridge where it crosses over, and just so happens that there's a really nice run directly underneath the bridge, which is usually the case for most rivers. And uh, we can see them porpoising, so we know they're here. Let me show you what I'm doing here. Natural, natural deluxe, small hook. Sometimes I run one, sometimes I double up. I'll show you. I'm gonna double up for this video. That's it. Let's see what happens. Can we get a bobber down, fish? Basically, we got really shallow gravel right here. Let's and then see it that. slowly drops off to the other side. And all the fish are sitting on that, that farther side. Ooh. Got him! What did I say? In that far <laughs> run! <laughs> he hit you! Wait, look at that! Yeah! He's a hopper! Hopper! Little rainbow. Is that a rainbow? Shoo! Damn! Little pan sized stalker. He's going right back where he came from. You know what this is right here? This is a prime chicken tender. Yep. It feels good! Do it, it's a. Oh my God. Are you wrapped up in something? No, oh. it's, a, it's a nice fish, dude. Yeah, I'll let that one go. We can release this one. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a, a brook! It's, it's a brook! Tre <laughs> oh! <laughs> Listen, you better start swimming, boss! <laughs> this is PB Brookie! <laughs> nice Brookie, too. Well, that's a nice fish. You better scoop that fish. Got him! Whoa! <laughs> that baby. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> brook trout, yellow jackets, switching between natural and yellow jackets. I just got this really nice brookie. This is solid for me. I'm from Illinois. We don't get brook trout like this from Illinois. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you a short distance from Martinsburg, West Virginia. Now, we're only about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes outside of town here on Opecan Creek. Now, according to maps we found online with the WVDNR, this is the last stocking location before Opecan Creek meets the Potomac River. The reason why we came here, 
is because it's an easy, accessible location. It's right at a bridge, there's public access on both sides, and it's a place they stock literally every single week from trout season. That means March, April, May, it comes every week. Now, it also is stocked in January and February, just less frequently than it is during the springtime and late winter. Now today, the guys only filmed here and fished here about an hour. The reason being we started to fish. Oh, Uncle Pat caught a bunch on chartreuse garlic salmon eggs. And then Jarrett went in there and he used his favorite other ones. And what I mean by that is yellow jackets and natural deluxe. And also when we got there early on, you'll see Uncle Pat with a spinner. He loves shrimp fire gel. He was able to catch his first two or three fish on that before we switched over. Now, why didn't we stay longer? Well. It started raining like heck on us. All of a sudden it said no chance of rain and it started pouring like crazy. So we went back to the car, we got out of there and he said, you know what, let's count our blessings. We just caught probably 24 trout in an hour, maybe an hour and a half tops. We put them all back so somebody else could catch them here a short distance from Martinsburg in a place where we saw a lot of other vehicles that came across from Hagerstown, Maryland. Shows you a lot of Maryland people come across partially because it's so close and they enjoy West Virginia's phenomenal stocking program. Now, Jared did catch one brook trout. We also know throughout the year they put golden rainbows in here. We didn't see any at all from the top of the bridge. They put rainbows, which we caught mostly rainbows, and brown trout. Now, we didn't catch any brown trout. Uh, we don't even know if they were here. To be honest with you, we went up on top of the bridge. It was a little dingy, just a little bit from recent rains, and we weren't able to see through that. So we were able to catch and release a ton of rainbows here on the Panhandle. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order. Opecken Creek just rolled up. Oh my God. Opecken Creek. <laughs> Look at this. Opecken Creek trout. Look at that. Nice fish. Decent size. Oh, God.